The Truth or Girls. Hi everyone, the Truth or Girl Sonia here. What's this? Real science, almost half the population may be infected with a mysterious virus that makes people stupid. Scientists at Johns Hopkins Medical School have identified a mysterious virus that literally makes people stupid. And it has so far been found in about 45% of people tested. This virus is called chlorovirus ATCV1. And normally uh, it's only found in algae, but for some reason now it turns out it can infect people and it is associated with changes in cognitive functions in humans and mice. So far, 90 people have been tested for the presence of the virus and 40 tested positive, according to The Independent. Those who tested positive performed worse on tests designed to measure the speed and accuracy of visual processing. They also achieved lower scores in tasks designed to measure attention. That's weird. This virus is only supposed to affect plants. But now it's affecting humans, which can only mean one thing. It must be a biological weapon. Attention, your government is trying to kill you. Oh wait, no, uh, they're not trying to kill you. Your government is trying to make you stupid so that you will be more easy to control. <laughs> my nightmare has become my reality. Okay, let's find out what's really going on here. Okay, this virus, it's real enough. This is not a made up thing. And this information is taken from a 2014 study. Chlorovirus ATCV1 is part of the human oropharyngeal virome and is associated with changes in cognitive functions in humans and mice. So they're finding that this thing lives in people's throats and that the people who have it have decreased cognitive function the presence of ATCV1 was associated with a modest but measurable decrease in cognitive functioning. It makes you a little less smart than you're supposed to be. A relationship between ATCV1 and cognitive functioning was confirmed in a mouse model. It makes the mice stupid too, which also indicated the exposure to ATCV1 resulted in changes in gene expression within the brain. Our study indicates that viruses in the environment not thought to infect humans can have biological effects. So what does this mean for humanity? Well, Natural News, who, by the way, I do very much enjoy this site. I find a lot of interesting things on there, although I do like to look into them a little more deeply. Natural News says, fascinatingly, this discovery makes tremendous sense. Have you ever looked at the world around you and wondered why so many people seem intellectually challenged? Now we know that a virus really can alter the function and expression of your brain cells. So there we have it. If people are getting dumber, it's probably because of this virus. Except there's one problem. People aren't actually getting dumber. I know that sometimes it seems like they are, but as far as measurable IQ goes, surprisingly enough, people have been getting smarter over the years, not dumber. And there's actually a name for this, which is the Flynn effect. Any IQ test given, for example, during the 1930s, the average person would score 100. 100 is an average IQ, which, with the average range being from 95 to 105. The problem is, if they gave the same test to people 20 years later, people are scoring higher on the test. The average has moved up. Go another 20 years later, and again, the average has moved up. So what they've had to do is change the IQ tests over time to account for the fact that people are somehow scoring higher on them. The Flynn effect is the observation that intelligence quotient test scores have, on average, increased significantly from the 1930s to the present day. So that's kind of weird because a lot of people get the impression that, you know, we're getting dumber uh, and yet people are not actually getting dumber. But what about the plant virus? Nearly half the people may be infected and yet IQ scores are still going up. So who can explain this? Well, the, the sample of 90 people isn't exactly huge, but like if we assume that this represents the population as a whole, this would tell you that about half the people are infected with a virus that lowers cognitive function. But by how much? A few points. 
That doesn't necessarily make you stupid. There's only two possibilities. Either this virus is some kind of biological weapon that's been released into the population. If that's the case, it's not working very well. Maybe this was put out there to make up for the fact that people are getting smarter. Don't want people to be too smart. That could be dangerous. The other possibility is that this virus has always been out there and we just didn't know about it. So that's what I found. Uh, I thought it was interesting. I hope it's uh, useful to you and that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up and thanks for your support on Patreon. And thanks for listening to me and I'll see you next time.